The three Chinese students, one of them aged 40, are under investigation in South Korea's Busan. The trio are accused of having captured illegal drone footage of the American naval carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt on the 25th of June. The Chinese students were nabbed on the 25th of June after they reportedly captured more than five minutes worth of high-resolution photographs of the American aircraft carrier and the base. It was docked with Naval Operations Command Busan's Nam District. Busan police alleged that the students violated the Enforcement degree, Decree of the Protection of Military Bases and Installations Act. It stipulates that individuals caught photographing military bases or facilities without authorization can face up to three years in prison or a fine of 30 million won. That's roughly about 20,000 or 21,000 American dollars. The accused students have ever claimed that their actions were purely driven by curiosity about the large aircraft carrier. While the case is still under investigation, there is reportedly no confirmation of the footage being distributed by the students. Interestingly, it was the first instance of USS Theodore Roosevelt making a port call in South Korea. It was also the first one to visit the country by a U.S. carrier in over seven months. The nuclear-powered strike group 9 aircraft carrier entered into the Busan naval base on the 22nd of June and it was accompanied by destroyers USS Halsey and the USS Daniel Inouye. The aircraft carrier and the destroyers were gearing up for a naval exercises that are scheduled along with South Korea and Japan. But this is not a one-off incident. It echoes other similar such incidents in the United States where in the month of June, a Chinese national was charged after he used a drone to capture images of a Virginia shipyard involving a construction constructing U.S. naval submarines. In July, a 26-year-old graduate student from the University of Minnesota had pleaded guilty to misdemeanor espionage charges. The reason? Well, she was caught photographing the U.S. military infrastructure with a drone. Sentencing in this case is expected in late August or early September. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.